As you guys know, I absolutely love Blox Fruits, and by far the coolest transformation in the entire game has to be the dragon. So you know what? Let's build the dragon transformation in Build-A-Boat. <laughs> now, this is going to be a very challenging build because obviously it's freaking huge. I think it's literally the biggest transformation in all of Blox Fruits. So yeah, let's freaking do this thing. Now, first things first, actually, the first step is going to be relatively simple. We're going to have to build a single piece of the body. So yeah, pretty much we're going to have to build a circle with like a yellow belly, pretty much. All right, now, honestly, I kind of want to go pretty big for this because honestly, the bigger it is, the easier it's actually going to be to add a bunch of details. So you know what? Maybe that's a little too big. I think that looks pretty good. All right, so I think this right here should actually work perfectly. Just going to have to do some cloning. All right, there it is. Okay, so that's a perfect circle right there. Now, the actual top of it is going to have to be like this green color. Actually, that looks kind of accurate. Maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, that's perfect. And then like we need like a yellowish belly, but I don't know why this this is, by the way. But out of all the colors that you have around the wheel, like, there's barely anything that's, like, yellow. Maybe something a little darker. I think, yeah, just, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so now the way we're actually gonna make this work is that we're gonna have individual little segments of the body that we're pretty much gonna connect together with, like, moving pieces. It's gonna be amazing. I've built a snake kind of like this before, but yeah, the snake was really bad, and this one is not gonna be really bad. I'm gonna do, like, eight. Yeah, I think that's a good width. That also gives us like, quite a bit of space to actually, you know, build all the mechanics inside. All right. Right, perfect. <sighs> All right, then. Now, we're going to have to build the actual mechanics of this thing. Now, okay, we're going to first off actually find the exact middle of this thing. Okay, so this right here is the perfect center. All right, so pretty much around this point, we got to make something that moves just the right amount. <laughs> now, previously, every single time I've done this, I've actually used hinges. Now, this time around, I think I might do something a little bit different. So, because we have a little bit more space, I think I might actually try out using servos. Because these are a little bit more firm, and hopefully, maybe it'll keep its shape a a little bit better throughout the actual build. All right, so I got one facing this way. I got one facing upwards from there. All right, I think that'll be perfect. All right, so there we go. Now on paper, this right here will kind of like make this entire thing rotate around the perfect place. Like this will work perfectly, but that's only on paper. Like I don't, I don't have a clue if this is actually gonna work. All right, so there it is. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna do a test where we're gonna clone this thing, and obviously these are not connected. I will make sure that they're connected later, but I just want to see if this is actually gonna even work. <laughs> All right, now we. Just gotta connect these up. All right, so all this stuff is now connected. All right, pilot seat. That's actually, wait, we gotta make sure that it's disconnected from everything. So as you guys can see, the pilot seat has no connections. Uh, we're actually gonna be moving this thing with the weight of the body only. And we're actually gonna be placing a one of these just to make sure that we can actually fly it. All right, baby, let's try it out. Let's see, is this system actually gonna work? Okay, so far, it is way too hard. It is not working one bit. Okay, wait. All right, there you go. I got this thing on the side. I think I made one very stupid problem. <laughs> Everything that is plastic has absolutely zero weight. So I think the weight might be the problem. All right, there you go. Added a bunch of metal blocks just to make things heavier. Okay, so it's still not really moving. Okay, I have one last idea that might fix things. I don't know, man. Okay, connect all the servos and hinges. Oh, wait, everything is just stuck together. It's not, stuff isn't even rotating. Yeah, this is just not working at all. Why is it not moving? Oh, wait, it's because the servos are... Oh my God, dude. The servos are gluing each other together. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Also, it's not even placed right. I am so stupid. All right, this time around, it should actually work. Let's try it out. All right, let's try this out one more time. Oh, yo, it's floppy. Oh, dude, this is good because it kind of tries to return back to its original shape. Okay, now, technically, I should have actually made all of the stuff that's uh, supposed to kind of like move through each other collision off. Okay, wait, maybe this is a little too much. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, though. Like, look, it kind of snaps back to its original like shape, but like, it's like completely jumbled up mess as you're flying, but then, as soon as you land. Okay, wait, maybe... Oh. Yet. As soon as you land, it goes back to its original shape. Like, that is pretty much what I was hoping to see. Okay, this is awesome. Obviously, this is not quite finished yet, but uh, we're getting somewhere. All right, then. There it is. Everything finally in a state where it should actually be ready to fly with. Now, as you can see, I've made some of it invisible, but that's actually a lie, guys. Okay, I've actually done a little bit of work right here. I'll make everything visible again. As you guys can see right now, these are like individual little slices rather than, you know, open holes and tubes and stuff. And actually, the, everything pretty much right here on this side is actually collision off except this one little ring in the middle and pretty much what that does is that not everything can just kind of freely move around and just turn into like a jumbled up mess but it's still gonna just allow for a bunch of movement so yeah this should be this should be pretty good now we're gonna start cloning this thing and dude we're gonna have to clone this thing a bunch of times all right then here we go for the big clone come on yes oh wait i've messed something up oh wait i've messed something up <laughs> 
Okay, so uh, one thing I did not think about is that we're actually gonna have to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, pretty much like shrink everything back together. And all of those things will actually have to attach to a lever. As you guys can see, we pretty much connect to everything right now, including all the stuff we don't want to connect to. So we're gonna have to uh, do something about that. So yeah, we're gonna have to manually select every single piston. So yeah, pretty much when we actually flick the, flick the piston, it's gonna suck everything like together. So that way it shouldn't even look like there's any gaps in there. It should, it should look pretty freaking cool. Connect that to there. All right, then here we go. Let's try this thing out. Unanchor everything and it just completely fell apart. Wait, I'm an idiot. Oh, please tell me just reloading it fixes it. Yes. Okay, just reloading the whole thing fixed it. So yeah, it was just a little bit of a bug, but that's fine. Yeah, look guys. Okay, so right now everything is looking pretty bad, but pretty much when we actually stop moving, it tries to go back to its original shape, which is actually pretty awesome, but we're gonna flick that lever. It's gonna suck everything back together and dude, look at this thing. Holy crap. We can literally like flick around, move around, stuff like that. And then the moment we stop moving, it kind of straightens out again. That is so cool. Actually, I was hoping there would be like less gaps in between, but honestly, I think that's something you kind of cannot avoid with these kinds of builds. Also, one thing that we could actually do is up the servo torque. So like literally right now we can go like this and then bling, like immediately go straight again. Oh God, I think I might've broken it. Oh God, I think, I think I might've, uh, ah! Okay, I think I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is bad. Oh God, oh geez. I have absolutely no control right now. <laughs> Yeah, do not up the torque. The torque, the torque will make it do this. All right, now we should be adding in a head soon. But honestly, I don't really know yet how I want to do the head, dude. The head is going to be so difficult. Oh, God, dude. This is, this is not going quite according to plan. <laughs> Um, oh god, dude. I just checked the actual, like, how it looks in the game. Dude, this is, like, a really, really hard detail to add. Oh my god. So, pretty much, um, I'm gonna do it the derpy way to start off with. Uh, <laughs> there's, like, a black thing in the back. Kind of like that. It's actually kind of got, like, two sections of the head. So, like, there, there's, like, the, the, the head part, and then the, that's where the eyes go. <laughs> Oh God, dude, this is turning into something else. Okay, well, actually, this is not looking that bad. I mean, it's not like super impressive looking, but I've seen much worse. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude, get it. <laughs> dude, that looks so cursed. You know what? This is actually starting to look pretty dang good. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, you know what? I'm taking it. This is looking pretty dang good. Now, I could do like this crazy, like almost like a lion's mane for the actual like uh, hair. But dude, I've got absolutely zero chance of actually making that look good. I'm, I'm gonna just be honest with you, man. Now, just like the real Kaido, I've actually added a bit of a special feature. Uh, the uh, inside of the head is hollow. Perfect. Um, Let's add our chair in right here. All right, so that connects to everything, including all of the hinges and servos and that kind of stuff. So it should be able to actually move around quite well, but I'm not sure if I actually wanted to do that. So I'm going to add the jet right there and I'm actually going to go ahead and place another chair right there, right in front of the other one. So one of them controls everything and one of them controls only the jet. Here we go, baby. Let's try it out and drop the whole thing, dude. Let's go. All right. So let's try it off with actually controlling everything. So everything is kind of just jumbling around a little bit. We're going to contract everything. There we go. All right. Let's fly this thing. Let's fly. Woo! Okay, dude. Okay, whoa. It's actually flopping around a lot because as I'm actually like trying to fly it, it's not only just like the gravity tugging on it. It's also me actually like moving things around. So yeah, if I just press a single button, look, everything goes into a bit of a just crumple of mess. So let me try out the other seat. So this one only controls the front. As you guys can see, if I roll things up, I will kind of roll around myself, but at no point will the tail just randomly start flailing around. But I think as I start flying, yeah, it will still kind of just be dangling around a little bit, but not near as bad. Dude, this is actually so cool. Dude, I love the way, I actually gotta say, I love the mechanic of when you actually stop moving around, it kind of straightens back out because nothing else I've ever done does that. It always just kind of looks like a crumpled up disaster, if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> dude, I can't believe we actually made the dragon fruit in build a boat. Now, we can add cannons. Now, let me rephrase that. We've added cannons. <laughs> Bang! Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's just say we got a pretty good power right there. <laughs>